After months of bloody stalemates and setbacks in the fight to reclaim their country, Libyan rebels tonight have fought their way into Tripoli and are waging an all-out assault on the quickly disintegrating regime of Muammar Gaddafi. Since we first reported here last night that the battle for Tripoli had begun, rebel fighters have made steady progress in their offensive on the capital. And there are reports they have captured a son of Gaddafi. Tonight, spontaneous celebrations are underway in Tripoli in anticipation that the end is near. And U.S. officials tonight have told opposition leaders quite plainly, start planning for the post-Qaddafi era. And there was late word Qaddafi himself is now urgently seeking to negotiate with the opposition. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel has made his way into Tripoli and joins us tonight from around a very jubilant crowd. Richard? Good evening, Lester. That post-Qaddafi era seems to be beginning right now. Tripoli is falling. We are now in the center of Tripoli. People have come out of their homes to celebrate. We've seen fireworks in the sky after a battle today unlike any other in this conflict. It is a march on Tripoli. Rebels hope it is a walk to freedom from 42 years of Muammar Gaddafi's dictatorship. On the highway to Tripoli from the west, some rebels carry flags. Others drive in cars and trucks, all armed, all excited, with shouts of God is greatest. They firmly believe after six months of war, victory is close. Thousands of rebels who used to fight in small, disconnected groups are now united. Some are driving, but most are just walking to Tripoli. On this front line in motion, we find 29-year-old lab technician Hamza Majdoud. He's already walked 15 miles today and won't stop, he says, until he reaches Qaddafi's compound in Tripoli. I'm one of, those, uh, one of the people who's going to, to, to keep our country free. But there are dangers fighting along an exposed highway. There's little cover. As we film, shots ring out, close. Right now we've stopped here because it seems we're caught in the crossfire of at least two snipers. The rebels fan out, looking for the snipers in a nearby orchard and buildings. They don't find them. With a front line this fluid, this uncertain, the wounded are just patched up by the roadside or rush back to hospitals miles away. But today we also saw victories. As the rebels capture new territory, they rescue some of their own. These men were prisoners taken by Qaddafi's troops, disoriented and bedraggled, freed moments ago after days in dark cells. The Gaddafi army take me out from my house and he take me to prison. But conquering Tripoli will take more than just will and bravery, both in ample supply here. In a new audio statement broadcast today, Qaddafi says he's still in Tripoli and urgently calls on his supporters to defend him. And a Libyan state TV anchor holds a gun as she vows never to give up her station to the rebels. But rebels have already taken a military base on the edge of Tripoli. It's a different fight now as Qaddafi faces a wave of revolution. What we are hearing from people here over and over is that this is a historic day. He said, today we live in freedom. That is something we are hearing over and over again. People are saying God is great. They are just thankful. They are thankful that this day has come, and now a new future may be beginning for Libya. Lester. Richard Engel, a scene there. The dateline is Libya, but we have seen this story play out certainly over the last few months across the Middle East.